Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the videopreneur, and this is a long video, but it's sped up uh, to keep it interesting, and uh, I've got a lot of ground to cover. So in this video, you can see we're putting the drop spindles on the front end. Now, right across there, you see those washers. Um, we lost both of those washers. They're really unique washers, and I was able to find a guy on Facebook, Joe Heck, that had those, and he sent them to me, and the bad thing is they never arrived so i contacted him and i asked him if you have another set now he's he sold me the one washer that i was missing for 10 bucks which you know is fantastic but then it didn't arrive so i contacted him i said by chance do you have another one and he said yeah i said i said you know if the other ones show up i'll send them back otherwise i'll send you another 10 bucks you know he didn't, i didn't want him to be out so anyway we got the uh, one on the driver's side installed and we couldn't do the passenger side because we were missing that. As far as shortages are concerned, for the most part, uh, I ordered a lot of stuff ahead of time and uh, we've been very fortunate as far as parts are concerned. The radiator has come in, but the radiator, I ordered that, man, back in October, I think, and it uh, just finally came in. So here we're working on the engine, we're putting it on the, uh, or we're taking it off the stand and, and uh, hooking the cherry picker up, and then we're going to hook the transmission up, and uh, then we're going to mount the engine and transmission in this video. So uh, one thing I wanted to mention, and we'll see that here in a little bit, the, the guy that rebuilt, well, I didn't rebuild my transmission. He went through my transmission and uh, found some interesting stuff. So on the transmission, all the parts were new on the inside. However, there was moisture on the inside and there was rust. So fortunately, he was suspicious. You know, when he opened it up, he was a little bit suspicious and I was with him and he's like, let's go a little deeper. And then we went deeper, everything was looking fine. There you see the new torque converter and Lynn's filling it up with transmission fluid. And uh, he went deeper and uh, and anyway, he found rust. Now this video, and I'll get back to that story in a second. This video that you're watching right here, uh, I had a problem with my uh, GoPro. So I started shooting this with my phone and I hit the slow motion. So this is slow motion video sped up 10, 10 times. So that, it looks like it's real, real speed, regular speed. Uh, and then I'll get back to this video in a second. But anyway, on the transmission, he went deeper and deeper and found some rust. And luckily he was suspicious and he went deeper and found the rust. Otherwise, he said six months or so, I'd be in trouble. Another thing I want to point out is if you look at the rim or the perimeter of the transmission, you see it doesn't have paint on it. He was telling me that a lot of guys paint that and a lot of guys paint the lip or the trim of the engine and you can't do that because of electronics. And what you see Lynn doing right now, he's trying to seat the torque converter properly and he's, he's pushing on that and it has to drop into place. And the thing that's interesting about it is you really got to finagle it because you think it's in place and uh, you know, he, he thought it was in place, but he wanted to make sure. And he's like, it's still a little loose. And so he kept messing with it, kept finagling it, kept pushing on it. And in a moment, you'll see, uh, maybe it already happened. It uh, drops into place. No, he's, he's still messing with it, but it drops in. You want to make sure you have it seated properly because you won't know until you put the engine together. And then you're going to find out the hard way and something's wrong. Um, or, or it causes a lot of damage. So now, uh, in this, this is a photo, Lynn is putting the motor mount on, and here we're, he's installing a motor mount on both sides, and then we're gonna mate up the transmission and the engine. And yes, I painted the transmission uh, Chevy orange and the engine Chevy orange, and I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it every time I go to a car show and somebody's gonna say, why did you do that? I did it because I wanted to do it. So here, Lynn is mounting the transmission and the engine, getting it all bolted up, and I gotta go back. It's really important that your transmission, the perimeter or the lip of the transmission does not have paint, and your engine the same way, because 
the guy that worked on my transmission was telling me uh, it will follow up the electronics and it won't work, uh, won't run right. So here we're getting ready to lift the engine and transmission and then uh, swing it into place. And again, you've seen this in other videos, so it's it's uh, same old, same old, but big deal for uh, us, big milestone for us, big deal for me to get the engine mounted. And hopefully I never have to take it out ever again and just run the, the piss out of it. So getting ready to uh, take the cherry picker, uh, move this into place, and then start bolting it in. So we've got two motor mounts, and then we've got the transmission mount. Get that all set up and uh, slid into place. So again, you can see the drop spindle on the driver's side. We haven't mounted the drop spindle on the passenger side yet, again, because of that missing washer that luckily Joe Heck had two of and uh, ended up sending me both. And I paid for both, but only one showed up. And, uh, you know, that's the way society is now. Uh, a few years ago, we had a president that said we're seven days away from fundamentally changing our country. I think this is what he was talking about. We've had it really good for uh, 245 years, and now we're finding out how the rest of the world lives, and I'll get off my soapbox. So, big deal here. We got the engine sit sitting in. We bolted it in. You can see the motor mounts that Lynn fabricated, and got it all bolted. We still got more, you know, we still got to finish the engine out, but it's, it's uh, mounted. And then in, uh, in a moment, Lynn's going to get under and, and uh, bolt the transmission mount. That's what he's doing right there. And, and uh, tightening up the, uh, the bolts for the transmission mount, or the, that crossbar that's uh, mounted to the transmission. So big, big deal. I haven't been posting a lot of video lately just because now it's, as you can see, we're slowing down. A lot of the projects that we're working on require a lot more work. Uh, before I was posting every day just to tear down, we were moving and grooving. Now it's slowed down quite a bit and uh, have run into a couple of problems on the cab, which I'll get to in future videos. Everything else, we've been very, very fortunate. Everything's been running smooth as silk. So I'll just go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. And the balance of this video is just uh, showing the engine transmission mounted up. You can see the spindle is not on the passenger side. Brake lines are run, fuel tanks in, uh, sending units in the fuel tank. Everything's set. We just got to run the fuel lines still, but uh, Things are coming together. Appreciate you watching. I hope you find uh, entertainment or value in this. And uh, keep tuning in. I'll keep posting. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.